All right. Well, this is a hand we're going to keep. We're actually going to open with the mountain still, I think. I mean, we have the Silmgar scorn, but we're going to be playing elusive spell fist for a couple turns at least. So I think we just... I mean, there's just no way we're playing Silmgar scorn on turn two regardless, so it doesn't matter. And at least we have the big Silmgar scorn if we need it. But I still want to play my second spell fist, I'm pretty sure. If he plays like a morph, I think I still, yeah, I still attack into it. But, ah, you know what? I, well, I, well, let's just fake like we have something, I guess. If he blocks, so be it. I'll just play another spell fist. Or maybe the aspirant, actually. I'm not sure on that. Maybe the aspirant, because it can attack into three toughness guys. But the spell fist is better with the Ojitai's breath. So, I guess it's debatable. I think I actually want to play the aspirant. Because that way, I can attack with it into the morph and leave up Silmgar Scorn. Whereas two spell fists can't really attack into the morph as well. I feel like it's a danger it's kind of a dangerous block for him. Alright. He's not having it. So we'll drop the aspirant and then pass. Although Maybe that was wrong, because now if I draw a mountain, I can't play Spell Fist and leave up Silumgar Scorn. But like I said, I kind of like that the Aspirant lets me attack into things. Uh, that's not great for us. Guess if I get a land, we go Warbrute. Or I just play an Infiltrator. Yeah, actually, Infiltrator is not bad. Infiltrator is actually quite good with the Ojitai's Breath. Alright, now we're actually in pretty good shape. So tap that down, get in, get some dudes. Hopefully we... Well, I was going to say hopefully we don't hit two lands, but four lands we can do quite a bit. So regardless of how this pans out. Alright, well, I mean... It's not like I was going to hit two lands anyway, obviously. One of them had to be the Infiltrator. Infiltrator is a fun card to play. Now we can trade our Manifest for his... Uh... I mean, he has to play a couple creatures here. That's not going to work. So, I mean, he's kind of gotten to play his big guys already. But that's okay. So I tap that down. 
kind of want to draw land. That's good. So now we can... Infiltrate again. Could actually cast the Warbrood as well, but... I want to get some more dudes. Hey, Behemoth's actually pretty good too. So now I can actually do Behemoth. Whoa, what's cool is... I can attack with Behemoth and then manifest. That's actually really cool. That's a surprising attack. Jeez, well, that turned out to be a good turn for him. <laughs> My god. Alright, oh, Kindled Fury's not bad. Let me think about this. So... Hmm, hmm, ten. Problem is, he can guess correctly here. I mean, hmm. This is really tough. This is really difficult. Um, everything hinges on him guessing. The problem is I can't I can't kill that with my infiltrator. So if he correctly guesses the bowmaster block on infiltrator, I just die on crackback. Which is pretty unacceptable. I can also just swing Behemoth. And maybe he double blocks. Yeah, I don't want I don't want this game to hinge on him guessing correctly. If I swing with everything, let's say he does the nightmare blocks. He blocks Bowmaster, Infiltrator, Beast Breaker, BMS. I can only get in for four. He can crack back for at least eight. I can leave up Silengar Scorn. No, he cracks back for lethal because, okay, it's just not going to work. All right, let's just swing BMS. This is still okay. If he doesn't block, I think I just hard cast Warbrute for like a trade. And I'm likely going to have to do some chump blocking, but I have a feeling he thinks, I don't know what he thinks. We'll see. We'll see what he thinks. The double block is what we're hoping for. All right. That is also okay. So I think we just unmorph and if I leave up Silengar Scorn, I don't die to trample. But I do have to chump block two things. 
But he can't swing with... Yeah, yeah, I think this is right. So we kill that. We leave up Scorn for combat tricks, although I guess he's likely to just want to pump this. But all right, the bonus of that attack was if he banks on swinging with everything, pumping Beast Breaker... Um, yeah, if he banks on killing us, I mean, we basically kill him with Behemoth. Yeah, actually, I can let that resolve. We can still beat that. Oh god, he's going for it? Alright. So now all we have to do is... Block here, and block here, and he's going to die from our behemoth backswing. Because he has... To, I mean, he can't kill us here. This doesn't have trample, so... Oh, actually, I guess I need I need a land to kill him. <laughs> Can I get a land? If Yeah, I guess if I don't get the land, I didn't think about that. If I had a land, I could kill him. Let me think. <laughs> so close. Five, six, seven, eight with the Kindled Fury. I can't counter my own thing and then pay for it. That only brings it up to nine. Man. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. All right. guess we go just Sky Sage and pass. So now I can pay to block plus Kindled Fury. Still going to have some chump blocking to do. Man. We were just a land away from just stealing it. All right. So... Blocks are here, here. Then I guess he kills both my guys. And now I still need the extra land to kill him with the 11. Although, well, I, this is probably still okay. All right, let that resolve. Kindled Fury, pump our guys.
Outrider. Wish Outrider was better here. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is I, I can't, uh, I think we just chill. So I died if he get I die if he gets a white mana, but I can counter anything else. All right, I think we actually sadly need to get a land from this Anticipate. Could get a Dragon Fodder, but it doesn't really do anything. So we'll get the land. Just basically trying to out-control our opponent at this point. Of course, I get another land. All right, Outrider. Pass. No. Uh, I'm really sad. All right, well, I enter a sad, sullen depression. Lose this. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Super disappointed. All right. Let's uh, take a look here. So in case an ice comes in, could do the vandalize. Let's see here. Yeah, we were just a land away, just a land away from winning that one. That's sad. All right, let's 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 figure this out. What am I cutting? Um, I can cut the defector, maybe. All right. I don't want to bring in Vandalize for his monument. It doesn't seem worth it. All right. Well, at least this hand's good. I mean, requires the strong lands, but let's stay positive and hope we can draw lands. I mean, at the very least, if we don't draw lands for a little bit, at least we have, like, got plays for a little bit. Guess we go Aspirin first. Like I said, it stops the X1s and potentially is good for us. All right. Well... Did miss the land drop, which is a bummer. I can cast Mardu Scout. Maybe just try and get as much damage in as possible at the moment. Otherwise, I play Dragon Fodder, but or Spell Fist. But I think we're gonna. I think we'll Mardu Scout. I think we'll we'll go backup plan Spell Fist when we. Let's get as much damage in as we can right now, so we can try and steal it in the mid game. Like now, if he plays a Morph. Possibly has to make a trade here. Or he just plays a monument. So we can bash him down. Some damage here. Land is good. Okay. So now we can drop Interceptor or we can just get another three damage in. I think we actually want to drop Interceptor. My thinking is... If I draw a land now, I can get in flying damage and then clean up with the spell fist. I think it's a slightly better investment than just dashing there because I still have to dash this turn. 
I do have Ojatai's Breath for the first threat. All right. Um, I think we actually dash plus. Actually, I think we. I think we just interceptor. This kind of forces a trade and lets us get some flying damage in. Could have also not attacked with Aspirant. Might have been better, I guess. Possibly. Possibly better to, to not do that. But he's got to deal with Interceptor. He doesn't have black mana either. Yeah, I think he's in some... I mean, he's in some pretty big trouble here. So we get some more damage in. Play two Spell Fists. And the two Spell Fists are pretty close to lethal at that point. I could have dashed the scout, but I think having two spell fists is actually better. I mean, he's got to deal with Interceptor right now. Yeah. All right. So I still don't really want to bring in Vandalize, but I got to tell you, it's pretty, it's kind of tempting, but I don't think it's worth it. I do think this is one of the more important matches for the in case of nice because of how many big green fatties he's got. Even Contradict seems like something I should be considering, although on the draw, it's significantly worse. I think Silmgar Scorn should do as much work for us. Collateral damage I feel like is actually kind of important with the spell fist to get that to push we need to push through damage. Um so I think we keep it the same and try again. All right, I mean, we keep it. We don't have the dragon for Silmgar scorn, but still a keep. I'm still open with a mountain too. Well, we got the dragon now. I mean, we're gonna play Spellfist on turn two regardless. And actually, Behemoth on turn three is not bad. We don't have the second blue yet for our Silmgar scorn, but I'm hoping we can find it. All right, this would be a great turn to draw blue mana. All right, so we can can leave up the scorn. I'm not entirely convinced I should yet, actually. I think this is actually an important turn to play the Behemoth, because then we can start attacking with Behemoth plus leave up uh, scorn, which I think ultimately we would like to do. Okay. Well, I'm much happier with this. So, Swing Behemoth. Leave up Scorn. Getting some good damage in. We have Spell Fist. Clean up the game at some point. Looks like he's missing land drops, which is certainly relevant. We have answers for tricks here too, which is pretty sweet.
Yeah, we're just going to scorn that. All right. Pretty good for us. It might be in our best interest to, well, I was going to say cast the Outrider, but I don't think that's true. I think we, I think we dash scout here, leave up Ojitai's Breath, or not leave up Ojitai's Breath, get in for nine. I mean, we can Ojitai's Breath plus attack with Behemoth still, which is pretty good. All right, it's pretty good for him, actually, but. I mean, we've still got Ojitai's Breath, Spellfist, Behemoth, so we've got answers for fatties. Ojitai's Breath is pretty awesome in this spot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we've just got him. Even if he deals with the Behemoth, now we've got Rebound Effect, get in for two, plus Cunning Strike. So he has to actually gain life here. I just don't think he can. And he revealed a... So we just sack this. Still takes eight. Wow. Exact seize. That uh, opponent's deck was very good. Jeez. Well, I'm pretty happy that we at least went 2-1 with this deck, considering it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to uh, pan out during the drafting process. But, yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. And uh, we'll see you for the next one. So we're going to have to do another Swiss, though. We'll see you then.